This is the interior of the Cori Cancha in Cusco, one of the technical marvels of the ancient world because of the exactness of the craftsmanship. There's clearly no mortar or cement or anything involved in its construction. And the question is, if this was supposedly the first building built by the Inca, why is it technically the most perfect? Nothing else matches it whatsoever. Other curiosities are these holes. These holes could have been made by the Spanish. If they're made by the Inca, what kind of drill did they have to do that? And here's where we see the incredible tight-fitting nature of this entire building. And also these, this strained ridge, which you can't see too well, but... Notice these odd grooves that are in the top. What was their function? Were there layers above this? And most curious of all is one stone that's here. And we're here with Dr. Arlen Andrews, who's going to inspect it. It's the stone that has this hole. We're getting the same kind of steps that we had the other one. Uh, yeah, there's a hole in the side though here, so that's an anomaly. But, but there's not as much of a of a wandering pattern. The one thing I people are asking are these. See the score marks? Yeah. They go basically in a straight line. So that's what people are curious about as to uh, what kind of what kind of tool could uh, could do this. So the mystery is that hole. Is that hole done with a hand tool or is that hole done with some kind of machine? And if so, when? Is this building according to conventional scholarship, was built probably around the year 1100 or 1200 A.D. However, it may be older. You can look over here. It looks like the beginning of tool marks. Like they were, something was counting away. They left marks on the side. Uh -huh. It looks to me almost like some kind of tool was driven. I don't see any... Yeah. I don't see spirals anyway. any spirals or any any steps like we saw on the ones over at the other little village in the museum. Uh huh. So all these right here, look, all these are some kind of marks of a tool that was yeah driven down. Now that might have been afterwards. Uh huh. Oh wait a minute! I do start to see. I do start to see some of those marks. What, what, what kind of marks? Uh. Mark in, in the wall, uh -huh. circular mark in the wall. I see one. I 
I have a feeling this was another one of those cord drills. Uh -huh. That they had some weight or something on top and they, they cranked it in some fashion. Uh -huh. And with a core drill. And what it's for, I don't know. The one on the side is obviously, they didn't care about how it looked. No, this one. It, it was just chipped out. No, this was pretty. It was just chipped out. Yeah, pretty crap. Well, I shouldn't say crappy, but not as well done as whatever this thing is. And one thing we can do, since we have vertical space, uh -huh. I'll take the video microscope. Oh, yeah. And put it up against there. While I'm at it, let me try to capture some. Wait a minute, i got to refocus here. Should get the tool marks right here. Mm -hmm. Mark. Uh -huh. I'm trying to get over to one of the. Let me here. Let's go to a. Yeah. A cut. 